Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is part three of our tour of Rob's fantastic studio here where he is making dreams happen by kitting out Lego and Mega Construct sets with lights, sounds and even LED displays. It's a real pleasure to be here and today we're looking at some very special vehicles that Rob has kitted out for Shia Khan, who is currently our cameraman. In part one, we took a tour of this unbelievable office. Part two, we checked out the lights and rotating propeller Frost Raven that he's kitted out. And today we've got a Forge Hog with lights and a banished ghost. Why don't you talk us through what you've done today, Rob? Happy to. Why don't we start with the Forge Hog? So. With this one, unlike with the Frost Raven, we wanted to see what was possible to do just something quick and simple. So we used one of our little tiny coin cell battery packs mm -hmm. that has an on off switch and you can plug, you know, a small number of lights into there. So it actually fits right inside. Um, again, this was done quickly, so we didn't make any attempt really to kind of tidy Whoa. up or hide anything too much, but there just wanted is. to show what was possible. So obviously we had to light the four headlights and then the lights up here in the weapon. If we had more time or if we had uh, wanted to take this a little bit farther, we would have looked at something in the plasma weapon with something kind of randomized. Right. Or even I know in the kit, I didn't get it from Sheer, but I know that there's a little piece that you can actually have this up on a, a clear yeah, piece, yeah. right? So this could actually be pulsing or it could be doing its thing up there as well if you wanted to take it to the next level. But just for the basic setup, this took me less than five minutes to wire up and Less get everything minutes. in there. So it's very simple. We didn't have to modify any parts or drill holes or do anything. You can mm. see the wires here down in the back here and the base of the weapon, but sure. and you can see them underneath here as well. But everything fit in super easily and everything because of the closed nature of the cockpit, it was easy to get those things in there. So yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. It's just kind of a quick, simple way to get that thing set up. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, first of all, these wires are just like hairline thin. They are so small, which is perfect for this kind of vehicle. We've got our four search lights and then yeah, these Gauss cannon lights as well. And there are eight of them. So are they running into one board there? They are, yep. I actually set up a couple of, so there's two lights connecting uh, to each plug on this little battery board. So oh, okay. the battery board's got six of these plugs. And so we could theoretically run, you know, 12 lights that way. The more lights you run, the less time the battery will last. This setup will probably last for at least 20 24 consecutive runtime hours. Yeah, so I think it's a great way to get started quickly and to show people what's possible. Heck yeah, that is so cool. So when we're talking about light, there are different kinds of sequencings you can have, right? So we've got on and off here, you could also have flashing in like a fixed sequence or randomized, right? Correct, yep, we have a number of different lighting effect controllers. Here's an example of one. You can see how small it is. It's programmed with a four channel machine gun effect. So it'll do a random four channel machine gun battle. Wow. So you just plug one LED light into each of those small little plugs there and hook the big plug up to a battery or power source. And the lights are truly randomized. Yes, exactly. Wow. So you have like four ports here and each one of them is a wire running to one of the LED lights? Correct. Fantastic. We actually put that one in the ghost. Right. If you want to look at the ghost. Again, with this one, it's a quick and dirty setup, so the battery pack's external, but that might be a good thing if you have a whole bunch of these and you want to run everything off a centralized power source so you don't have to change batteries during the day. Oh, sure. So you could flip on like one centralized source and all of your ghosts would light up on your diorama. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and one of these battery packs that just has three AA batteries mm. will power about 100 lights. Could add a lot more to this than what we have here today. <laughs> Entry. Yeah, but if you see, I can turn it on and then ah. I actually put the machine gun effect board underneath the hood here yeah. and hooked up to these two front machine gun lights so you can get a random effect. And you can imagine if you had a whole bunch of these set up, you'd get a yeah. pretty realistic battle diorama yeah, going would. on there. Yeah. And then underneath, I've got a flickering effect hooked up to these three blue lights to give sort of a hover effect here for the ghost. That's so. unbelievable, honestly. Like, that is unbelievable. I love that flickering as well because that's legitimately how uh, those sort of boosts feel in the game. They feel very like raw and randomized. Then these plasma cannons at the front, the fact that they're flickering because like a ghost is just again launching this like fast and randomized plasma. And the thing about these wires is they're so small that if you had a diorama, especially like layered base plates, you could easily just have them running underneath. You wouldn't even see them. Then you walk into the room, you flick the switch and all of your vehicles light up and there's just immediately like this massive battle going on. It's honestly amazing. Now you can take this a step further with sound effects, right? Yeah, that's the plan ultimately. Right now we have a 
sound kit for machine guns. Mm. So you could um, put a machine gun on this setup, or if you had a um, machine gun turret. Yep. We're working on getting more of the Halo laser turret sounds and the laser weapon sounds mm. into our machine gun or into our sound boards as well. So depending on interest, mm. people watching the video and the comments, if they want to give suggestions of like what's our wish list, what's the number one effect, what's yeah. the number one sound you'd yeah. like to see, we can work on making that happen. And then you know ultimately, I'd like to be able to have each of these ghosts do its own kind of hover effect yes, and then also yes. have a uh, plasma laser effect as well mm. that's all doable that's and it's all, all uh, it, the further down the price range you get you can customize your own sound effects into this through your computer right I saw with your uh, Ghostbuster vehicle you could actually add sound effects and like your favorite voice lines from Ghostbusters into the vehicle right so we have the uh, we have two types of sound modules one which is programmed by us which you can't yeah. change and the other which you can just plug into your computer and copy over your own sound files right. exactly and the good thing about our system is that you can start simple like this and you can get the sound module later and add it on or you mm. can get the central power option later and add it on yeah. and you don't have to change anything. It's unbelievable. I, I'm so excited to see the progress that this is going to make. Please do let us know in the comments down below. A, what kind of sound effects would you like to be able to purchase boards of? Like we can pre-install pretty much any sound effect from Halo, right? Correct. Into these boards. And then B, if you would like to see the progress of this, I'll be stopping by and saying hi to Rob in the future. And I would love to make another video showing the finished product, wires hidden away, sound effects added. Like it's a beautiful thing. I've also brought some of my own vehicles today. And in the next video, we're going to see if we can kit out right on the spot any of my banished vehicles with some lights. So Rob, thank you very much for showing off this Gauss hog and the ghost. We want to reiterate again that these are not finished. The wires will be tidied away in the future. And also the size of these boards, are they pretty much designed to fit with bricks like this is exactly the same size as a two by two yes most of them are they will really fit inside of whatever you build and you don't have to put the lights in as you make your build you mm. can easily add them later so we assume that everybody's already going to have their halo sets set up yeah and lighting and sound may be something new to them mm. they don't have to start over i did both of these lighting installs after sheer had sent me the kits put together mm -hmm. so you can see you don't have to start from the beginning amazing well rob thank you very much for this thank you Simon. and thank you for the support on this video series please do check back next time where i'm going to see if i can kit out some of my trader joe's food with lights and sounds <laughs> no some of my banished vehicles <laughs> and yeah you stay awesome you stay safe out there folks the domain or the banished ghost let's say is signing off